Alrighty, we get the choice, and I don't think we want to play first. I mean, I've just got insane bombs that are going to win the game, so let's just go with the draw. It's not like my opponent's going to out-aggro me too easily, and this hand is definitely a keep. Blinding Soul Eater and Divine Offering are golden, and Children is icing. Children doesn't make this hand, I mean, could very well get counted again. And when it's coming down around turn 7, it's a bit hard to play around counter spells that late in the game. At that point in the game, it's like, you know, you can play, you can play something or you could not play something. Alright, Pristine Talisman, sure. Not concerned about the life gain, I'm certainly not going to get the aggro beats here. Or the acceleration either. Apostle Blessing is a good addition to this hand as well. Again, it's insurance against corrupted conscience. Trigon of Thought. Yeah, that might be worth Divine Offering though. And True Conviction. Oh yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I think I want to Divine Offering the True Conviction. Uh, the Divine Offering the Trigon of Thought here. Feels like good value. Uh, certainly there's not any other artifact that I've seen that I would rather kill, especially when I've got Blinding Soul Eater. Not threatened by any of his creatures, especially the creatures that he doesn't play. So, he's probably holding a counter spell. Might be holding, um, he might be holding, uh... An instant speed 3-3 three, three in his hand. No? Okay. Probably just holding counter spells then. That's fine. I can play this game. So my opponent's gonna have to Well <laughs> here we go. Run out Gore Vassal. What do you think what do you say about that? Yeah? No no counter spells for the Gore Vassal, so <laughs> certainly don't want to be running out true conviction into what appears to be counter spells. So yeah, I can run run Gore Vassal Beats here. That <laughs> seems fine. Certainly ha don't have a reason to blink here. I've got threats on the table and my opponent has nothing. So I mean I could force through counter spells probably, but I don't see any incentive to Here we go. Coppermere. <laughs> uh, something hits the table. So, still holding up a whole heap of mana there. It's gotta be a counter spell in there, surely. So, bashing in for two. Again, I. My opponent's. My opponent is. has got the onus to play something here, not me. If he waits long enough that he can play something and have counter magic up, I guess, well, that's fine too. Alright, so he's just not playing anything. So would I rather have Shieldred or True Conviction? Probably, probably rather have True Conviction at this stage. It's much harder to interact with. And he's attacking with Coppermere. Really? Alright, block. What are you up to? Nothing? What the... Alright, Massacre Worm, huh? Um... So... I can... And he's still got counter magic up, apparently. So... Sacrifice Gore Vassal, regenerate my Blinding Soul Eater. Uh, creatures opponent get minus two, minus two. So that that doesn't help. I guess I just uh, I put a counter a counter on yeah I put a minus one minus one counter on massacre worm and yeah instill infection as well.
A gremlin mine, sure. So I did play into that a little. I, I wasn't wasn't quite thinking that one through, unfortunately. But we should be fine. Here we're going to play out True Conviction with mm, True Conviction with no creatures. I guess we'd do better better with Time Track. All right, Try and Track is okay. So Massacre Worm can come in for four, and then I'll play out True Conviction, which will get countered then. Shouldn't be shouldn't be a second counter spell for Shieldred, and that should end it. Yep, I'll take the four. So I've got I've got two must counter spells in my hand. Shrine, sure. Be able to deal with that before it gets too problematic. Um so Let's get this out there so it's counted. So, my opponent's going to have to... No? No counter? Alright, well, Time Track's going to get in there. And if you've got a removal spell for it, I've got Apostle's Blessing. I'm refusing to believe that my opponent just had nothing this whole time. Refusing to believe that he was sitting on nothing, pretending that he had counter spells. Surely not. What 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 does he have? Ah, volition rates. Yeah, well, I've got the revoke existence, so I get it back. Um. So yeah, massacre worm uh, double strikes me, but that's okay. So he was holding, was he holding counter magic as well? Hmm. So if he's got a counter spell as well, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's probably got a counter spell as well. Um. Hmm. So I play Shieldred, it gets countered. Massacre Worm, then I have to block. Well, I don't have to block, but I probably should. I'd rather, I'd rather, well, I can play a Blind Zealot, and then I leave Time Track to block. Uh, but then uh, if I play out Blind Zealot, then I have to use Revoke Existence on Volition Reigns and get that countered, and then I have Shieldred rather than Volition Rain. So okay. Yeah, I think I I think I'd rather have more creatures here. And get the Revoke's existence counted on the Volition Reigns. So that I can play Shieldred in the clear. Yep, counted. And So, uh, yeah, I leave leave time track back to block, and then blind Zealot might even be able to get in there and kill massacre worm. That'd be nice. Uh, beating true conviction is going to be tricky, but with Shieldred I should be able to manage it. I mean, if my opponent has no creatures, then uh, double strike and life link doesn't count for much. Alright, the Corrupted Conscience is there as well. I'm gonna go cast it. So now, now I get protection from black this turn as well, which is nice. So my opponent has now play out, played out all of his bombs and I've still got one left. So protection from black. Oh no, protection from blue! Oh, I'm an idiot! Oh, I'm an idiot! Protection from blue! Oh dear. Oh dear. Now I've given him another creature. Oh no. Ugh. 
to be making a mistake that big this late oh no well he gained some life I guess oh dear and he's got a whole bunch of double striker life linkers oh no So, taking more damage than I would have been otherwise, a lot more, uh, but I can block Blind Zealot and there and just take, oh I'm taking four, ouch. Yeah, Massacre Worm uh, could be problems here. So Massacre Worm's going to kill something of mine next turn, and that's going to cause me to die. Uh, why? Uh, let's see, does any of this help? Blind Zealot? No. Time Trike? No. Gore Vassal? Gore Vassal kills a Mere. Gore Vassal kills a Mere. Yeah, that's, that's relevant. That is very relevant. Oh, except I die. Hmm. I die in the meantime. Protection from black. Now that is that's that that uh hmm. So I have two blockers, one of them one of which has protection from black. Uh It might be okay. Sort of feast and famine on Shieldred. Alright, bash for four, so if I can keep any of my creatures from dying here. Jeez, being on one is not a comfortable place though. I, yeah, I really muffed up that uh, Apostle's Blessing, big time. So I play Shriek Raptor. And equip Shriek Raptor, I guess. It's going to be much faster to kill with Infect Counters. So he has to sacrifice one, so he sacrifices his Mere Token, and I can block Massacre Worm. I could equip Gore Vassal. Hmm, is there any reason to equip Gore Vassal? Leaves me with two blockers. Uh, he's not going to have anything haste. We'll just do Shriek Raptor. Whenever a creature an opponent controls. So I could get rid of Massacre Worm this turn. Did I forget to use Gremlin Mine against a Mere Token? Hmm. Whenever a creature controls. So, I, yeah, I want to... Kill the Mere so that... Massacre Worm dies. Oh, jeez. So he sacrifices Massacre Worm on upkeep. And then I should be able to end this, in, end this nonsense in two turns. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I nearly threw it away. Well, it's not over yet. There could be a Vapor Snag. A vapor Snag would be rather unfortunate. So I want to return... Uh, let's see, probably Blinding Soul Eater? It's probably the most relevant out of my graveyard. Don't need another Infect guy just yet. Alrighty. Attacking in, I guess, Gore Vassal. Not Gore Vassal. Gore Vassal might get blocked. Alrighty. And my opponent can discard his card that he's got. Oh, Mirror and Spy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, it's been an exciting game. Pretty certain. Well, if he top deck Vapor Snag, that would kill me. Nope. Jeez. Wow. So that was exciting. Living the dream of uh, 
dual wielding and shieldred and uh, unfortunately didn't get to double strike and dual wield opponent conceded before that but yeah hope you enjoyed the journey to magical christmas land this is not generally what drafts look like but hey plenty of fun here thanks for watching